Okay. Is it rolling? Yeah. Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie. And today we have a special project, a special test to do. It's the brand new 2012 press. And it's been called, been dubbed the Pram. And Pram, <clears throat> according to the designer, stands for Precision Rack Actuated Movement. And I'll explain that in a few minutes. But first, I had to get my paper dampened to do this test and uh, proceed from there. The Pram is a rack-driven miniature press. It's pretty much like a mini half-wood press. It looks the same, but it's stronger. In fact, one of the names that was suggested was the Husky because it has a Husky look about it. It's a little more squared off, a little more, if you'll pardon the expression, masculine. But don't let that turn you off. There are two main features, advantages, about this press. One is the pressure settings are linked. They're synchronized. So when you turn one of the pressure screws, the other one goes too. They're connected with a stainless steel chain and sprockets that connect the two. That's one advantage of this press. So there's no more guessing about whether the rollers are parallel and the pressure is even. They have to be even because they're synchronized and they're locked together. The other advantage is that it's a rack-driven press. It gives you a 3 to 1 gear advantage, I think, a gear ratio or mechanical advantage, which makes it really easy to print with. And, of course, now there's no pressure and I can spin the wheel, but uh, you'll see when I do the pressure test that I can literally print with my finger. I'll show you just quickly what the underside looks like so you can see the rack. You see the rack going along here. It looks like a gear that's been laid out in a line. And the press itself has your gear underneath that drives the bed. That means you don't have to have any pressure to make the bed roll. A bottom-driven uh, press like the mini halfwoods are all driven by the friction created by the pressure coming from above. But this press works with a rack, which means that you can print things like linoleum cuts and wood cuts and other things without any pressure or drag on the press on the plate itself. Those are two big advantages. There is a, a generally heavier build throughout on this press. So, I'll load the press with the blanket and I'll get the plate ready. Center the blanket on the bed and I can estimate the pressure from past experience somewhat. Again, with the mechanical advantage, I'm not really sure until I print how it's going to be. So, I'll get the plate ready, take a little cardboard chip piece of paper and spread the ink around. Plate's warming up. The ink is getting soft. Clean the edge a little bit. The plate is a 22 gauge <coughs> copper plate. I could be printing uh, 16 gauge as well, which is the standard thickness for etchers. But for the mini, I always recommend a thinner plate, just because it's more economical. There's no need for a heavy plate on a miniature press, like the Pram. little talcum powder is always good on the hands. I'll be handling the paper, warm the plate slightly before I print it. I 
I soaked the paper for about a half hour before we started. If you've seen some of the earlier demonstrations of the mini half-wood press, you saw me put a, a gripper pad underneath to keep it from moving around. But the fact that this press is geared and has that ratio, uh, there's less force on the wheel. Consequently, I don't really need the gripper pad. And I have to confess, I don't know whether that's enough pressure or not, because it's the first time I've printed with a precision rack actuated movement press. I can judge from the embossing on the, pa on the paper from the back that it may not have been enough pressure, but apparently it was. Hmm. Well, there you have it, the first test of the Pram half wood press. Thank you for watching. I'm Bill Ritchie.